Hey, 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 it's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be reached anytime by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. I'd like to welcome you here today as for Stamp, for Shell, Stamp with Shell today, we are going to be playing with a new stamp set called Right Behind You. This stamp set is found on page 84 of the new annual catalog. I'm going to open this up and give you a look. It's right down here at the bottom of page 84. This is a fabulous stamp set. Um, it's got the two girls on the bike, some flowers, a dog, and some ground shadow. And the greetings say, we make a great team. Hills are easier when you have a friend. Hi, yay, better together. Thanks for sharing the ride and always right behind you. Fabulous greetings. So we're going to have our first play with this one today. And I have grabbed some cardstock. I have weird colors today. I have Whisper White, Pumpkin Pie, and Misty Moonlight. And we are just going to wing it today. I am just going to go with the flow, see what happens, see how this turns out. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is put a liner on the inside of my card like so and I am going to use this orange I very very rarely use any color of orange not my favorite color but against this misty moonlight it just pops so I thought here's a good opportunity to use that little piece of scrap all right so the this piece is four by five and a quarter. This piece of Whisper White, which is going to be our art panel, is three and three quarters by five. So that's the one that we're going to do our stamping on today. If I can get everything out of the way here, we will get stamping. And like I said, it's a brand new stamp set. I haven't even put it together yet. And so I am going to use this without the labels because you don't need to watch me put labels on. So there's our two girls on the bike. And we're going to need some of that ground shadow as well. So we'll put that on another block and we need a greeting. Um, how about hills are easier when you have a friend? That's a nice greeting of support. So we will peel that off and put it on another block. There we go. All right, so now we need to decide. I'm going to stamp these girls in memento black. But I think I'm going to put my greeting on first so that I know where my placement will be. That's a pretty big greeting for this little card. I think we're going to change it. I think we're going to go with a smaller greeting. This one says better. Okay, no, I'm going to go with the better together. I like that. There we go. Actually put that on a smaller block. And that will fit up here in the corner. 
So the first thing I'm going to stamp in Memento Black is the greeting. And this is a brand new stamp, so I'm going to stamp it off a couple of times. Make sure I get no halos here. And we'll stamp that right up there in the corner. Oops, sorry, I forgot about wiggling the camera. All right. Now we can put these on our block. your fingers perfect all right we're doing well all right now we have the ground shadow left but I don't want to do that in memento I'm going to do that in a color so I am going to find, I'm thinking a gray, maybe gray granite. We'll try it, see how we like it. If we don't like it, next card, we use a different color. You never know till you try. All right. So, that works for me. Works for me. All right, let's put all those stamps back in there, put those away, and let's find some Stampin' Blends. I have a whole container here. And we are going to color. Now, I don't have any orange here, but I do have pale papaya. So I'm thinking I'm going to implement a little bit of this pale papaya somehow. Now, I have a little scrap here. I want to see. I might use this one as skin tone this girl here. I think that works. I just grabbed a handful of Stampin' Blends to bring with me this weekend. So, seeing as orange is not a color I very often use, Orange was not in the repertoire. All right, let's see what this dark one, I get the cover off it. I think I might use this as stripes in this girl's shirt. Must have misty moonlight. Misty moonlight light. So there's that. And I guess I'm going to do her shirt in misty moonlight. Like so. And I really wish I had brought a black marker, but I will use 
dark smoky slate just to fill in their leggings a little bit. Like so. And maybe this girl here will have dark hair. As I'm coloring this picture, I'm thinking this girl's got her eyes closed. Like how she's <laughs> she's steering the bike. Where are these two going to end up? Out in the willy wags. I know I'm crazy. That's just the way my mind works. All right. There we go. And now this other little girl should have a different color hair. I guess it's going to be crumb cake because that's the only suitable color that I have. This is dark crumb cake that I'm using. Okay. Now, I think I'm happy with that, but I am going to take my watercolor pencils and I am going to find a blue. This is Bermuda Bay. That's way too dark. Now I do not have a light blue pencil other than for me to bake, which is a little strange. But that's okay. We'll make it work. I just dropped one. I better check out and see what it is. It might be the one I'm looking for. No, it's green. I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay and put a little bit of color in the background. Just a little bit. Just to take away some of the white look. kind of like that and then I'm carefully going to take my aqua painter carefully I say and blend it out a little bit without smudging what I have happening here. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't want it to look, but I don't want the ink to look liney either, too liney. All right. We have that in play. 
stitches like so. Very simple so far. I think maybe I might put a ribbon on this end. But I really don't want a white ribbon and I don't know whether I have Let's try coloring this ribbon with the Misty Moonlight. I don't know. This is the light Misty Moonlight. I want it to match the cardstock and not be too dark. We'll get this on here and have a look. I mean, I do have the dark one if I need to. Darken it up. Yeah, I'm not liking that too much. I wonder... I'm just going to play here and mix some colors together. It may turn out to be a hot mess. We don't know. But we will see. see what happens. The more I look at this cardstock, I'm thinking that maybe it is not Misty Moonlight that I pulled out. Because this Misty Moonlight marker on the ribbon looked nothing alike. And I think that is going to be closer. And this is a mixture of Light Evening Evergreen and Light Misty Moonlight. So, who'd have thunk it, right? All right, let me see if I've got enough color to go around and tie a knot. Almost, I think. Let's go a little bit further, just to be sure. And bring in Misty Moonlight again. Blend it together. There we go. My multicolored ribbon. Now, where did I put my scissors? There we go. They're hiding over here. We'll cut this off with my awful scissors and give this a whirl and see how it looks. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wrap this around here and tie a knot. This is a very, very thick ribbon for what I'm used to using. So, woo! <laughs> a miracle that those pencils didn't go flying. All right, clean up my mess. Trim this, and we will trim this, because this is going to have to go shorter so they match, 
And then I'm just going to cut it in half like so. And then, oops, slid a little. I'm going to put it on here like so. Now, I don't have any sticky strip. Something else to add to my list. So we're going to have to use glue dots to adhere this ribbon. So this could be an adventure. Glue dots with no take your pick tool, no paper piercing tool. Man, we are not prepared. But I am sure in the end, with a little work, it will all work out. Just adding glue dots to the back side of this ribbon. And we'll give it a whirl. the cardboard. Look at that my friends. It was meant to be. Nice little ribbon that almost coordinates with the card stock. I think I'm going to use dimensionals to put this on. Just have to make sure that I have it on the ribbon as well as, oops, as well as the cardstock on this side. And I'm going to put an extra one just for good measure. I don't need it falling apart. There we go. All right, let's remove all these little papers. My take your pick tool would be so helpful right now. But we're roughing it. <laughs> roughing it at the trailer. One more. Okay, let's cover up some of that orange. I think that's okay. Maybe just a titch down. Better together. some of this stuff out of the way and bring our stamp set back in and now we have a cute little ribbon on there what are we going to put on how about some of those beautiful iridescent gems that came in my Notes of Cheer card kit. There we go. Isn't that cute? So there we have. Oh! Heavens, do you see what I just did? <gasps> oh. Now I'm really wishing I had my take your pick tool. I didn't check my card base. How many times have you done that? You forgot to check and put your card together upside down. Well, well, well. Let me see what I can do. 
All I can say is a good thing I used dimensionals instead of Tombow or we would not be taking this apart. The joys of video. Yes, I could delete this, but it's better that you see me screw up because we all screw up. Look at that. We are back together and we open correctly. All right, there you have it, my friends. Right behind you, fabulous um, friendship stamp set. Very supportive greetings. Love it. All right, thank you so much for joining me for Stamp with Shell, and I will be back soon. Bye-bye for now.